Yesterday, once again, Monday Night Raw has proved to me that SmackDown is superior. SmackDown has just been on so many levels better than Monday Night Raw, and it's not even close, bro. But I wanted to talk about one of the storylines that's making it a blowout, in my opinion. Other than the Sasha versus Bayley, Roman Reigns being one of the best heels in the company, you have The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. My name is I King Skies, and this is the greatness of Alexa Bliss in the Fiend storyline. But before we get started, like the video because it does help out with the algorithm. And if you like the videos, check out my other ones and join the Skies Kingdom. We are rolling up to 500 subscribers. So if you subscribe and watch my other videos, that would be greatly received. Anyway, so without further ado, play my intro. Play my intro. I am the stone in the building of the I am the visual of inspiration. The big thing to find me. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, and the blow that you know to call your brother's son. You still need to be the gun. The promise of what's to come, and I will remain a soldier to the war. I am the gun. Alexa Bliss was rumored to be in a Sister Abigail-like storyline right before she appeared in the Swamp Match for Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman. She would then get, a, get attacked by The Fiend and come back weeks later. She would say she was fine, but little did we know she was actually changing. She would throw subtle hints that she was changing and being mind-controlled by The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Fast forward a couple months later and Bray Wyatt is toying with Alexa Bliss and is basically controlling her at this point. You can't sit here and tell me this Alexa Bliss storyline isn't great. It's been sending fans, or at least me, every week wanting more and more and to flip the page and let Alexa Bliss join the theme. Every week it seems like people on Twitter draw their own theories and conclusions to what's going to happen next. And you can't turn that down from anything on WWE. If, if you have people talking about your show after it goes off and making theories, then you're probably doing something right. It sent shockwaves through the WWE universe, in my opinion, when she got attacked by The Fiend the first time. And it's probably one of the most underrated moments this year. The long term proves to be special again. The long term booking proves to be special again. Because the writers aren't just throwing stuff together, you know? They are a unit and is in one. They are building to something special. And that brings me to my second topic. Alexa Bliss's acting throughout all of this has been superb. The fact that she is 100% into her character just makes it better as a whole. Alexa Bliss week in and week out is making The Fiend look way more important than he actually is. It's weird because not only is this showing The Fiend has power to control people, but it shows that even when making a little contact with him, people can also become addicted to him. For example, Alexa Bliss changes every time she hears The Fiend's name and is fully aware of it but just simply can't control it. Imagine being that powerful. Alexa Bliss acting and development into this character has been amazing and I just can't wait for the results. Which brings me to my last and final topic. The aftermath of this. The aftermath of this is going to be great. Or at least that's what the rumors say. The rumors are to have Alexa Bliss pair up with The Fiend and have him the best babyface in the company. And it's weird because not only are people going to love this, but imagine the storylines we can get from this. The Fiend versus Roman Reigns with Alexa by his side to make a difference. The Fiend and Alexa versus Karrion Cross and Scarlet. Alexa Bliss versus a babyface Charlotte trying to get her out of this, this spell. It's so much endless possibilities 
after the pairing happens. We are talking about the fiend that's beloved by all the fans. Then you're going to pair him up with Alexa Bliss, who's another beloved person within the WWE universe and making them a baby face. We can have two best baby faces of all time if WWE plays their cards right. Please, WWE, play your cards right. Don't play a Joker, don't play a King, just play the cards right, please. I just wanted to talk about this and how great this storyline has been so far and how great it can be down the road. Alexa Bliss is doing great, she's doing great with the character, she's putting 100% in and I just thought I needed to give her some credit a little bit. My name is I King Skies, if you like these videos and WWE theories, Holla at my channel and thanks for watching. They're always acting the same. Screaming we're older, these niggas is pain. I am the hero, man. I got them by chain. Shows on the ass like I'm the new king. Passing these missions like life is all easy. Just screaming to the mic like my name is Berlin.